Okay, we've now wrapped it around the bottom. Uh, these wires are actually reversed. Red is negative and black is positive. Okay, this will go in, but not very much. Okay, we've mixed the uh, silver epoxy together, and now we're going to get ready to apply it. Okay, we have it in there. Now it should take a while to cure, so we're just going to let this do it by itself. At this point, right now, we're letting the contacts cure. Uh, it's supposed to be 15 minutes at 150 degrees, or about 5 hours at 70 degrees. So the light doesn't throw off that much heat, but it should get it up to about 99 to 100, uh, at least the way that's the way it feels. We'll see what happens later. We worked the wires out the back one of the uh, covers for the PCI slots and put a rubber grommet in there to keep the wires from chafing and glue so that the wires won't bounce around once they're installed. Okay, we got a good connection on the battery cable in there. It's pretty much dried. The lamp brought the temperature up to 93 degrees and so curing took place. I used a piece of tape to tape the two wires to the other cover by the PCI card slots and uh, we're going to just go and see how things work out now. Okay, we screwed the bracket in that holds the uh, video card in place. And we're ready to close it on up. I'm using the uh, Visio as a boot monitor. And the Apple Cinema Display as a secondary monitor. Okay, now getting the secondary display is lighting up. This normally does take a little bit of time using the uh, the old Mac Pro 1.1. Not the fastest uh, boot time. Looks like it's taken about a minute and 20 seconds to start to boot. Okay, we're in good shape now. 